want to get out to WVTF 13's Aaron Llewellyn now, live and local tonight in Birmingham. Aaron, you spoke to political leaders from our area who say that today's verdict was pretty much expected. Yeah, gosh, Sherry, that is about the only thing that the political leaders that I talk to from our state on both sides agree on. They say that one, one says that from the beginning, this trial was politically motivated. And the other says that former President Donald Trump is only being held accountable for his actions. A historic legal battle comes to an end Thursday as former President Donald Trump becomes the first former president to be convicted of a federal crime. And the evidence showed he had an affair with a porn star that he wanted to cover up. He paid hush money to cover it up in violation of election laws to influence an election. That is a felony under New York law. But political leaders on both sides aren't seeing eye to eye with the jury's decision to find the 2024 presidential candidate guilty on all 34 counts. If you look at the facts of this case um, and you look at the, the prosecution, um, you, you look at the fact that the both the judge and the DA openly campaigned that they would go after Donald Trump. It's pretty clear that this was politically motivated. Alabama Republican Party Chairman John Wall feels the facts of the case were known years ago and should have been tried then. If there were genuine legal concerns, these charges should have been brought eight years ago. Um, they were not. They were not brought seven years ago. They were not brought six years ago. It was not until Donald Trump announced his campaign uh, for re-election and he started beating Joe Biden in the polls that these charges were brought against him. Directly after he was found guilty, Trump tweeted his civil rights were violated. Former United States Senator Doug Jones says Trump's claim was expected. And if you go back and look, uh, every political person, every political figure that has ever been prosecuted, the first thing they do is scream that it's politics, that they're being persecuted, that it's somebody else responsible. And Jones doesn't see the outcome as weaponizing the criminal justice system. What this is not, is not a witch hunt. This was the only person who is responsible for putting Donald Trump in this position is Donald Trump. Uh, he put himself in this position. He committed the crimes and now he's being held accountable. Now, again, there are no laws that would prevent Donald Trump from continuing his bid to the White House if he is sentenced to jail time in July. Now, both Wall and Jones both agree that they expect that Donald Trump will appeal this conviction. Live in Birmingham, Aaron Llewellyn, WVTM 13.